Baltimore Ravens finally got so much great news today and it's news that we've all been waiting to hear but just didn't know it was coming so fast but anyway let's get straight into it first off Ronnie Stanley Ronnie Stanley is back in the building Ronnie Stanley returned to practice today and that's a great start man now 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 I'm not going to expect him to play this week because he had on his infamous camo fatigue shorts and you know when he got them shorts on it's gonna take him a little while to be back but we'll see hey ronnie stanley if you want to surprise us go ahead but we want a fully healthy ronnie stanley to be back on the field uh, but this is baby steps baby steps and these are some big baby these are actually toddler steps with ronnie stanley getting back on our practice field already so we love to see it this is a great thing tyler linderbaum he also returned to practice today as well and when you're missing your starting center when you miss your starting center, like, th things are a little bit different. Hey, shout out to Sam Mustafa because he held it down. He held it down in a major way. But having Tyler Linderbaum back, that, that will be great. Uh, Gus Edwards. Gus Edwards, who was in concussion protocol, of course, he left the game early against the Colts uh, this past Sunday. And when the way Harbaugh spoke about him on Monday in the presser, I was thinking, oh, I don't know if Gus Edwards is going to be playing this week. It don't really sound too good. But Gus Edwards was back at practice. So, that's great because Gus Edwards, he's the best running back on the team. And he's somebody that, y'all know me, I've continued to say, hey, Gus needs to be the guy. It needs to be him. He needs to be the bell cow running back. Uh, but I don't think Ravens going to do that yet. But he's, him being back is nice because, yeah, he makes our running back room a whole lot better. Uh, and then this one. This was the one that really got me. Marcus Williams Marcus Williams returned to practice after everything going down in a week one game against the Houston Texans then it was said that he was feared to have a torn pec uh so that could be season ending and if it's not season ending then you're going to be out for a long time but then they said that there was some optimism that it was a little bit swollen but he felt like he may, maybe he might play this year and then Harbaugh came out and said well he's going to elect to either have the surgery or just do rehab it's up to him it's going to be his decision and then about a week after that Harbaugh said oh he's going to rehab so we're not putting him on IR and I was like whoa they not putting Marcus Williams on IR I know he's going to miss at least four games right but Marcus Williams is back at practice already and I know the video clips, they only show ju uh, just so much, but he didn't look hurt. He didn't look like he was limping. He didn't look like he was in pain. Again, they only show so much, so I can't say for sure. But Marcus Williams being back, oh, man, because uh, I didn't think we were going to see him for a long time. That, that is crazy that he is back practicing already. But again, with Marcus Williams, same way I feel about Ronnie Stanley, with, it's the same way with Marcus Williams. I'm going to pace myself. Because I, I'm not going to expect them to play already. I'm going to hope that they play in this Cleveland game, but I ain't going to expect them to play just yet. But, again, them being back at practice, this is how you get started to get active back in the game. So this is a beautiful thing. But it did not stop there because there were two players that – were not practicing with the team, but they were on the field that was separate from the team. And one of those players was Justice Hill. Justice Hill, we missed him last week uh, because Justice Hill, he is dealing with, I believe, a foot injury. Uh, and that took him out of this Colts game. Um, and it's, it, I think it took him out earlier the previous game, too. But it took him out of this Colts game, or kept him out, actually, because he didn't play at all. Uh, so we would love for Justice Hill to be back. But he was off to the side practicing by himself, working out by himself. Uh, but somebody else who was doing the same thing was Tyus Bowser. And we know Tyus Bowser, he is eligible to return next week. So with Tyus Bowser, will he be back next week? We'll see. But again, it's a start. It's a start. The fact that he's out there, the fact that both of them are out there and they're doing their individual things, that's a start. And with Ravens and injuries this year, like we've continued to talk about, the, look, I'm about to injure the mic. With Ravens and injuries this year, we've said that it's not nice. It hasn't been pretty, but it hasn't been as ugly as it had been in previous years because before in previous years, so many guys would get injured and they would be out for the entirety of the season. But this year... Minus a couple guys, obviously, J.K. Dobbins, one of them. There have been a few others, too. But most guys this year are coming back this year. We couldn't say that in years past, so that's been nice. Also, 
uh, the Baltimore Ravens. We knew it, it had already went down already, but the Baltimore Ravens made it official, and they announced Kyle Vannoy, uh the signing. So he was out there practicing. He was wearing the number 50 jersey, so shout out to Justin Houston. But Kyle Vannoy is in the building, so ramp up process time gotta see what type of shape he's in and gotta get him some cliff notes on the playbook because calvin we need you out there asap my friend uh so that was a nice thing now uh on the flip side uh that was a lot of great news that was a lot of good news now we got to talk about the not so great news uh because not everybody was back in the building yet um now not practicing uh, Odell Beckham Jr., he wasn't practicing yet. Uh, Rashad Bateman, he wasn't practicing yet. No surprises there. Uh, Justice Hill, like we mentioned, he didn't fully practice, but he was off to the side doing his thing. Uh, Marlon Humphrey, he unfortunately didn't make his return yet. That was one that I've been anticipating for the past couple of weeks, so who knows when it's going to be with him. Uh, David Ajabo, no surprise there. Adafi Away, no surprise there. And I, I remember with Adafi Away specifically, just to talk about him real quick. Um, when Jeff Zrebeck in the game that he did get hurt When Jeff Zrebeck talked about how he was in a walking boot I said ooh, ooh uh, I don't know about that one but So we'll see But somebody else whose name is on here That is very concerning um, Which I didn't know that he was hurt Kyle Hamilton Kyle Hamilton He wasn't practicing today uh, so hopefully it's just one of those things where he just a little sore from carrying that defense on his back from the, the Goats game the other day. Hopefully that's what it is because he ain't used to getting all them sacks like that and making all them hits, all them tackles, tackles for loss, deflecting the ball. Hey, when, when you should have been defensive player of the week, those games will weigh you down, man. They, they'll make you tired, man. So Kyle Hamilton, when you are missed, literally Mr. Do-It-All, like he did it all against Indianapolis, that's going to happen. So hopefully he'll be back tomorrow and then on Friday, and then he'll be good to go against the Cleveland Browns because Ravens need everybody that they could possibly get. Um, so we'll see what happens with him. Now, um, somebody else who we need uh, just to be on point extra against the Cleveland Browns because their defense, they're they bringing it, man. They're on the way is Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson spoke to the media, uh, and he said that um, he was asked about Miles Garrett. He said that he's been seeing Miles Garrett since his freshman year of college. And Miles Garrett is, of course, a great opponent. Uh, and we know that, that. And he said it's not his job to block Miles Garrett. He said that's the offensive line. That's on them. That ain't on me. That's on them. Um, so, yeah, they're going to have their hands full. And whether it's Ronnie Stanley and company, he comes back so he gets to go against Miles Garrett or it ends up being McCary. Or the, we'll see. But they're going to have to bring it against Miles Garrett. Um, his biggest takeaway from the Colts game, uh, he said that they had plenty of opportunities to win that game, and we had mishaps with catching and throwing the ball, and he said they have to put points on the board. Uh, he also talked about how, because um, somebody asked him, do you feel like guys are still in the phase of getting on the same page? And Lamar said, yeah, it's September. Uh, one of our guys just got there last week, and he said every game ain't perfect. And he talked about the ramp-up process a bit. Uh, but he talked about against Cleveland. Hopefully, they'll, they'll just continue to get better. Now, I'm surprised that he didn't talk about not peaking too early because, I mean, you saw their offense against the Colts. They definitely ain't nowhere close to peaking. So, hey, they, they, they right on time. They right on time. Um, he also talked about uh, they asked how it feels to get the guys back at practice who returned today. And he gave a big shout-out to Makari and Mustafa and said they've been doing good. But he said hopefully Ronnie Stanley and Tyler will be back and they can just hit the ground running. And, yeah, that's what we all hope for. But, again, uh, temper your expectations. That's, that's what I'm going to do. So I don't get disappointed in anything, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, and he says he feel like they stopped themselves against the Colts. <laughs> yeah, y'all did. Y'all, y'all, biggest worst enemy. Uh, he said most of his fumbles, uh, they've been in the pocket when he's trying to throw the ball. And he said he has to do a better job because it affects the game. And <laughs> yeah, Lamar, it does affect the game big time. Because when you're donating the ball to the other team over and over and over and over and over, you can only overcome so much. And they, they had opportunities to still overcome all the fumbles the past three games. There's been a lot of fumbles. And for the first two games, they overcame them. But for this last one, it just ended up not even that the fumbles were too much, but the Ravens just came up short because they still had a chance to win. But they just came up short. So moving forward, man, got to clean that up, man. Got to clean that up because but it's good. Not good that it's happening now, but you much rather it happen now than later on in the year. So it's good to fix whatever that issue is with them fumbles. Why y'all keep dropping it? Why Lamar, you keep dropping it? They, they got to fix it. Continue to clean up the offense because later on in the season, that ain't going to fly. That ain't going to fly. Though, that type of play, that type of issue, that stuff will get you kicked out. So the good thing, again, got to remember this offense is new. It's new. It's new. 
It's a brand new offense, new offensive coordinator, so it's still going to be the learning curve. So that's important to remember moving forward. Now, we don't want to be talking about learning curve in week seven, eight, nine, and, and moving forward, but through these first couple of weeks, it's expected. Even though, I mean, Lamar talked about it in the presser today with how week one, they did all right, but week two, he said they had a great game, which they did, but then week three is like, ugh. So it's like they went like this. So people's expectations after that week two game, like, oh, yeah, we here. We back, baby. We in the building. And then after week three, it's like, oh, okay. Well, did we leave the building or something? What happened? But moving forward, it's, it's always important that it, it, you continue to trend upwards and Ravens know what they got to do Lamar know what they what he got to do and what they got to do the whole team they they know their job but it's important that they actually get it done team keep it clean I love y'all we out